Our last speaker is Manuel Almestar from SDSN Spain. Um, do remember to use Slido, so slide.do, and then the code is N977. Just seven minutes more. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello everyone. My name is Manuel Almestar. I'm an architect and facilitator from Peru. And, and I now live in Spain. I'm working at the Innovation and Technology for Development Center of Techni Technical University of Madrid, ITUPM. This is an open innovation platform that integrates researchers and students and professors working in a collaboration with different stakeholders. We aim to address significant social technical problems uh, to create new solutions around the, SD the SDGs. We work closely with SDSN Spain, and that's the reason when I'm here today. Um, I remember three years ago when, when I moved in to Madrid to study and to work at the, at the Innovation Center, my former professor and now my boss told me that I'm not an architect, that I'm a facilitator. I thought that it's a, a huge problem because, this is my name, um, this is a huge problem because I am designer and what is a facilitator? At the beginning of this new role to me, we faced a new challenge. How can we work in different ways with our city, Madrid? Madrid and Madrid City Council and Technical University have been working together for more than 10 years, but in a specific commitment such as studies or assessment. We thought that instead our advices or recommendations uh, and a campaign was necessary. So we asked ourselves, how can universities be more effective in addressing complex real world city problems? And this is what I want to show you, not just the, the, the pathway to let me understand my new role, but also uh, a practical example of how we accompany through our municipality in solving some of its climate issues. The result is Madrid Sustainable Innovation Platform, Platform Cities. This is an experimental and interdisciplinary platform addressing these questions. It aims to deliver a proper context to provoke a sustainable and systemic transformation in Madrid. Madrid, with 3.2 million inhabitants, is facing with another big cities, serious problems to tackle air pollution. Madrid has failed year after year since 2010 in meeting uh, the air quality standards established by the European Union. Because of that, it's, it's urgent to focus on improving the climate conditions of the city. Platform Cities focuses on Madrid's local policy for air quality and climate change. This platform has a core team integrated by Technical University of Madrid, but as a facilitator, providing a connecting tissue for provoking, accelerating, and sustaining transformative collaboration among different disciplines and actors. The Madrid City Council, the challenge owner, guiding and generating public policies that respond to societal needs. Matadero Madrid, the public center for contemporary creation, amplifying the links with citizens and promoting the co-creation of new narratives through artistic representations. This platform is also involving a wider range of organizations. They are working in an iterative and non-lineal process based on social innovation platforms, where the ecosystem work together through different stages to establish the most suitable solution. Platform Cities works in three different challenges, monitoring, mitigation, and adaptation to climate change. The first challenge is to improve and to strengthen the current network of air quality sensors installed and to generate new ways to, to transform this data in relevant information for citizens. The second challenge is about reduction emission. On one hand, we are working on the, on the improvement of the public APP called Mass Madrid, to increase mobility efficiency. On the other hand, we are working on the, on the um, um, there is a process of collective intelligence using a platform called UPM 
This is an open data online platform that facilitates the collaborative ideation of solutions for city sustainability challenges. The first contest involved more than 2,000 people co-creating about the sustainable mobility. The third challenge is based on the adaptation to climate change. The first pilot is Matadero Mutant Action, which uses Matadero, the Center for Contemporary Creation, based in an old slaughterhouse, as a test bed for applying nature-based solutions in a process leading by artists. Five group of artists and more than 150 students, 500 volunteers and more than 15 organizations involved build prototypes to suggest new uses or new perspectives of the public space. And they are, uh, these prototypes will suggest new, new ways to talk about the climate crisis. First prototypes are currently on display in an international exhibition called Ecovisionarius. During these years, we have tested our critical design principles. Working in platforms instead of projects. Creating a context of confidence. Linking diversity actors to unlock barriers. Working with the challenge owner and citizens and designing for scalability. Next steps will focus on amplifying the scope of Madrid platform. To achieve this, we are working with another 14 cities in the deep demonstration program of the EIT Climate Kick. The aim of this program is to build real experiments at city scale to support acceleration to the 2030 climate target. Let me conclude by saying that through this platform, I return to design, design a context, a spaces to talk and create. Through this platform, we don't want to get the different uh, participate organizations outside their comfort zone. We want to expand it and discover that it's possible to, to work together to amplify the impact and to create a vibrant ecosystem where the resolution of those problems is possible. For that reason, when I, at the beginning of this speech, uh, I tell you that I'm not just an architect, I'm a facilitator too. I stopped designing physical spaces to design spaces of collaboration. Thank you.